Hi, everyone. Um, I want to give you a quick tip because I got this question quite often in the past, okay? So if I go in my Layers tab and I've got a layer called Construction Lines, and I'm just going to bring it up. There you go. So you can see in dark blue all these very thin lines. And these are basically the foundations of, you know, for creating my surfaces or solids. I just, you always start with basic curves, okay? But sometimes, you know, I get the, the following question that I get curves that are too thin and it makes it very hard to see, right? So there's a way that you can do that in Rhino to thicken your curves. Uh, in one of my videos, I mentioned the function print display. So I'm going to put the link in the description if you want to play with the thickness of your lines and all that. And you just type the function print display. But there's another way while, while you're working, when you're modeling, you can also uh, thicken your lines uh, because the, by default, it's set to one pixel, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a bit too thin for some of you, you know, so we all have different eyesights. So to, to solve this, this little problem, all you have to do is go to Tools, Options. And in the Tools Options, uh, I, I recommend that you go all the way down. So you have the Rhino, Rhino Options document. You go all the way down where it says View. Unscroll the menu. And in there, you've got the Display Mode, okay, here. So you have to unscroll again the display mode. And I've already uh, unscrolled a couple of menus. But in the display mode, you've got the wireframe, the shaded, rendered, ghosted, all the different uh, visual aids you know, when you're working or when you're about to render. So for example, I can go in the, because I'm working in the shaded mode, as you can see in, uh, in the background, the, the McLaren is in shaded mode. So just go where it says display mode, go to a shaded mode. Now, it's in light blue. That means I've already made modifications to it, all right? The default settings, it's when it's black, OK? So I've already made some, some changes in my shaded mode and in my wireframe or ghosted mode, OK? So if I go to the shaded mode and I unscroll the menu, you're going to see grid, object, shadows, and other settings. I'm going to unscroll, again, another submenu. So, so it's the one that's called objects. Just unscroll down this, and you're going to see different uh, types of geometries, points, curves, surfaces of these. So I just select the curves one. And in the curve settings, now you can scale. So it's set to 1 by default. You can scale it to a higher value. So I can, for example, type 2, and you can already see that the line becomes thicker. If I go to 3, you're going to see that it's going to increase. If I exaggerate, and I don't know, let's say 6, now you can clearly see how thick those lines are. And let's go back to three, actually, and click OK. And there you have it. Now you can see thicker lines. And whenever you need to work on your project, it's always going to be very easy to see and, and play with. Okay, So that's it. All you have to do is go to Tools, Options, go all the way down where it says View. Okay, So all the way down in the new menu, unscroll the view. In this case, because I'm working in shaded mode, I just unscroll the shaded, go to object and curves. And you can do, obviously, the same for your wireframe mode. So you have the same menus and submenus. So if, you, if I unscroll wireframe, you go to the objects menu for wireframe, and you've got exactly the same thing where you can set the thickness. So here in, the, in my curves, when I was working in wireframe mode, in this case, I put the scale to 2. All right. So you can make them different looking from one visual aid to another, so from render to, to wireframe to shaded and so on, OK? So that's it. I just wanted to show you that. And for if for whatever reason, all right, uh, you're not happy with all the changes you've made, always as a reminder, you can always click on Restore Defaults, and it's going to bring it back to the manufacturer's settings, OK? So you just click on that, and it's going to erase everything that you've done so, uh, so far, OK? So there you go. Thank you.